activate. This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Um, the Jews were not going to enter um, a Gentile house, in this particular case, the, the tower of, or the, the fortress of Antonia. Now, what they would do, since they wouldn't go into the house, this thing had a courtyard in the middle of it. So they would go into the courtyard. So did the, uh, the palace of Herod. But they would go into this courtyard, or this courtyard right here, and uh, they would hang around, but they wouldn't go inside the building itself. And the reason they wouldn't do that was because they considered uh, uh, the touch of a Gentile to be defilement. And certainly it's the Passover. So that would be really, really bad. And so on this occasion, at least, uh, they, seemed to, uh, they seemed to consider it a pollution to enter into the house of a Gentile. And so they took a lot of care to guard themselves against what they considered this ceremonial defilement or ceremonial pollution uh, while they were, and the ironic thing about it is they were so concerned about that, but they weren't concerned about this enormous crime of putting an innocent man to death with trumped up charges. See the hypocrisy of the whole thing? Uh, it's ironic that they were, that these Jewish leaders, the Sanhedrin, which is primarily made up of the uh, Sadducees, and uh, the Pharisees, that the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees were so concerned with uncleanness, and yet they were planning on murder. That's the incredible dichotomy of this whole thing. They were just, they, they, the way man thinks, you know, the way that man is, is controlled and, and motivated. Uh, there's probably nowhere else that you would ever find, it's certainly not in the Bible, uh, be found where um, such a, an instance of petty regard for um, the ceremony, you know, this, this idea that, that oh, we can't, we can't be defiled, and yet they would commit this incredible crime to have a man murdered. It's just, it's just odd how man thinks when man is so driven uh, to do something that he thinks has to be done. And so here they were uh, attempting to keep from pollution, and at the same time, their hearts were filled with such incredible malice as they were planning one of the greatest crimes of all time. So I want us to take a look then at, that sets the premise for really understanding what the ultimate blasphemy is uh, in all of this. This ignoring God is the ultimate blasphemy. Now, I'm not going to get into, there's a scripture that, that talks about there's a sin that leads unto death, and you know, there's the unforgivable sin, and so forth and so on. Well, I mean, we believe that the unforgivable sin is that you die without, you know, without being right with Christ, without being right with God. And so that can't be forgiven, because once you're dead, you're dead. And so um, that really is the unforgivable sin. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a 